Uh, okay, this one's just gonna be fun for me. So a few years back, I was having dinner with a Hollywood exec. He asked me about a friend who's a director and was like, when is this guy gonna make his first movie? And I said, he's just waiting for the right script. The guy busted out laughing, looked around, leaned in and said, Ben, see everyone in here? They're all looking for the right script. One of the beauties of film is there's no one formula. There's no one way to guarantee that the audience is going to like said movie. There is something that is just intangible and organic that cannot predict the way an audience is going to receive a movie. I mean, people literally spend millions and millions and millions of dollars trying to figure this out. And sometimes the only explanation is that God shows what is foolish in the world to shame the wise. That's in the Bible. Like two country brothers working in a church with zero film experience that have created some of the most successful independent movies of all time, such as the 2011 Christian film, Courageous. I'm Ben Davies, this is Pure Hollywood. Greatest was directed by Alex Kendrick, was made for about $2 million and grossed just over $35 million worldwide and pulled an additional $25 million in DVD sales. The Kendrick Brothers movies have baffled many moviegoers and creators alike. And there is a laundry list of people attempting to recreate the magic that the Kendrick Brothers always seem to find. And what is so interesting about the series that they have created is they're all unique, they're all unorthodox, with only one thing in common. But we'll get to that later. My view review is going to be a four out of five. Now, according to the critics, it's got a 30% on Rotten Tomatoes, but it got an 86 from viewers and almost 30,000 people voted on it. There was one incredible performance by the rookie cop played by Ben Davies. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm totally kidding. My performance is not nearly as good as the story in the movie that it actually is. But what this movie does so well is it's not flat. There is something literally for everyone. There's action, suspense, adventure, romance, passion, fatherhood. There's You're on the edge of your seat for like half the movie, as well as going through some of the most emotional moments in a Christian film that I have ever seen, including one now viral video on YouTube that is a comedy scene that just has you laughing in tears. And let me be clear, having something for everyone and keeping you on a roller coaster is much, much, much harder than it seems. One of the reasons why it works in this movie so well is that everyone has some relationship to a father. And that is one of the main themes of the movie. So whether your father was a terrific figure for you, whether he was absent, whether he was bad, whether he was indifferent, everyone will be able to relate to at least some part of this movie. And because the father figure is so important in everyone's life, you are invested from the very beginning. As well as having a really fun cop and robber kind of story going along with it and a compelling B story that keeps you emotionally invested throughout the film. Now for my critic review, I'm also gonna give this movie a four out of five. I've mentioned before in movies, particularly that are drama films, the score is very, very, very important to get you through some of these expositional scenes where it's just two people talking and setting up the story going ahead. There's a great score throughout it and they do a great job of pacing the film. Now let me explain pace for a second. If there's a slow pace to the film, it's boring. It's like flatline. You'll feel this in some movies where like, man, I almost fell asleep during the middle or I got really bored in the beginning or at the end. If you pace a movie well, you stagger different events to keep you invested. For the example, when the movie gets really heavy right in the middle, there are some very important comedy scenes woven in the middle of these scenes to break up the really tough emotional draw of these other scenes that are sandwiched in the middle. As well as some very particular action sequences. When the movie starts to lull off where there's a lot of conversation, emotional build, and story setup, you have these action kind of adventure sequences that get you back alive so you care more so you can get through those scenes. It was meticulously crafted in the pace and the way they constructed the story. Now for my faith review, I'm gonna give this movie a five out of five. Shocking, I know. Now in this faith and value section, I'm gonna get to that through line that is the only thing in common with all the films that they made. Starting with Flywheel, Face in the Giants, then Fireproof with Kirk Cameron, Courageous, and War Room was the most recent. After each one of these films, the Kendrick brothers take a year off and start praying for what is a message that the people need to hear now. They pray about it and the Lord leads them to a direction. For example, Courageous. And they wanted to focus on fatherhood, what the Bible says about fathers in general. Also is it part of the breakdown of our culture in America currently. The single motherhood rate has skyrocketed, which has an incredibly detrimental impact on the children, and this is due to fathers abandoning their families. And I'm not going to get into all the verses because the movie does a terrific job explaining the job of fathers in the home. But what I do want to explain is why this works in this movie and how it doesn't work in a lot of other films that you've seen. Mainly because these guys understand the medium itself and what movies need to be about, and that's not because of the college they went to or the teaching that they received. I, I truly believe it's the prayer and discipline the Lord blessing their project. So basically it's this. A movie script is not a devotion. You need characters that you love. You need a compelling story, an interesting situation. Courageous does this. You have a very 
diverse group of people all coming from very unique backgrounds in a pressure cooker situation with these police officers that are tracking down this crazy gang surge in the area. There's also a very inspiring B story of a man trying to provide for his family. But throughout this, there are incredible lows that create this roller coaster. And there is also comedy and all the characters are believable and justified in their actions. No one's flat. Everyone is very dynamic. And anyway, even if you didn't respect the medium of the film, knowing what the audience needs to sit in the seat and how it's not just a book or devotion, you could miss all these points because you're just focusing on getting the message of what the Bible says about fatherhood across. And though it may be entirely accurate, it may not have been received as well by the audience. Fatherhood was the theme of the movie itself. It wasn't the story and the character. They were powerful and compelling tools to help convey it. And the Kenner Brothers have done this masterfully in many of their films. Fireproof being about what the Bible says about marriage, but you're being shown it through a complex marriage in this incredible situation of being a firefighter and the, the responsibility that you're given because of it. War and the message being about prayer and how important it is, but you're sitting on an incredible emotional roller coaster again when you're following this man and his wife going through what it means to be married and staying together. It's very complex, not easily recreated. It is incredible to see what the Kenner Brothers have been able to do in their movies. And if you haven't seen these, I really, really, really encourage you to go see them. They're fantastic. I'm Ben Davies. This is Pure Hollywood. And another fantastic news, you can now download the Rebel app and take me with you wherever you go to get exclusive content in the entire Rebel lineup.